Well, it's been flat out. Last week we were with the Yorkshire flat caps and this week we've been hanging out with the Surrey stockbrokers. Now, Chris has been flying in the north of the country and he's also got a sneak peek of Marin's new full suspension e-mountain bike. Uh, so welcome then to uh, the EMBN show from Ace Bicycles in Monmouth. Wow, Chris, you've been uh, pretty busy, I see, up uh, hanging out with Matt Jones and Veronique Sandler. Yeah, it was great to see those guys on board on the e-bikes too. They were absolutely loving their first ride on it, and we've done a whole video about it, so check that one out soon. Yeah, lots of, uh, lots of jump in. Lots Dirt of jump in. in. Lots of air underneath the wheels. Yeah, and as I say, those guys were surprised how easy those bikes were to jump. They were a bit, off, a bit on guard at first, but let, their, you know, let themselves go, and those bikes are absolutely flying. We've got some cool shots. Uh, no doubt there's been, there was a bit of uh, riding in mud involved, I would hope, as well. Yeah, we've got a little bit of mud. We did, rode a few little bits of downhill just for you, Steve, but I was quite happy just to stay on a vision line, to be honest. Okay, right. <laughs> uh, so I understand you managed to get a look at um, Marin's new bike, right? Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, we caught up with Matt Jones. He's actually got a custom model, so check this one out. Yes, this is Marin's first entry into that full suspension e-bike and it looks an absolute stunning bike. This is Matt Jones' custom Alpine Trail E1 and what a beauty it is. Let's take a deeper look at this bike. Starting at the heart of this bike is aluminium chassis. We've got a nice coil shock on the rear on both of those models, which is pretty cool. It's 150 mil travel and it's got aluminium rear triangle on it. Now the geometry on this bike is super slack. So we're looking at a 63 degree head angle with a 435 mil chainstay. So it's quite short, so it's nice and playful, but that 63 degree head angle means it's nice and slack. So I've got a feeling this bike is more aimed for the downs rather than the ups. And powering it along on the cheaper model, the E1, you have the E7000 motor on there. That has a 500 watt hour internal battery. On the more expensive E2, you have the Shimano EP8 motor and a 630 watt hour battery. So two different levels of options there for that. Uh, Drivetrain wise on the E1, you have the Shimano Dior group set mixed up with some big brakes on there. You've got 203 mil rotors front and rear with four pop piston brakes on both of those models. On the higher end E2, you've got the XT and SLX mix. On the E1, you've got that full deal drivetrain. So some, some really good options on this bike. And this bike is rolling on mixed wheel sizes too. We've got that big 29er up front and a 27.5 out the back, meaning it's super playful in those turns, but it's got that big fat tire on there driving you up the climbs. Now, it's just the pricing on this bike is pretty amazing to me. You've got that base model coming in at £4,295, and you've got the higher E2 model, that's coming in at £5,695. But pretty exciting stuff coming from Marin. Wow, that's uh, some interesting developments there from a brand which is actually one of the first uh, mountain bike brands you know, in existence. Mm -hmm. uh, what's interesting, Chris, is you know they've got this full suspension bike, but what I really like is they did a steel uh, e-mountain bike a few years ago, which I looked, which I saw at um, the Sea Otter Festival. Uh, I'd like to see more of that, but uh, it looks, looks a pretty good bike, this new full suspension offering, right? Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think the price point that they're coming in and the components that they're offering, again, it's another brand that's put a lot of thought into the components. They're not just slapping these bikes together, you know, kind of what I felt like mountain bikes were getting, just a, you know, a bit of an OE package from a manufacturer, sticking it on and not really thinking about it. But I think with the e-bikes now, they're thinking about the tires, thinking about the wheels that go on it and the width of the rims, all that stuff that does make a big difference. Yeah, and very, very cool to see Matt Jones and mm. Vero, you know, putting yep. these bikes to the limit, right? Definitely, you know, as, so as, good. as we saw last week with mm -hmm. Chris Ackrig, but this week uh, it's with a different style of rider. Yeah, nice. Uh, well, guys, uh, I don't know if you know, it was Black Friday. Actually, was it Black Friday, Grant, or, or is it an on-running thing? Oh, there you go. So uh, don't forget uh, your Black Friday t-shirts uh, mm -hmm. as being modeled here in Monmouth. Uh, now, ideal for nightclubs, whether it be in London, Paris, Moscow, or indeed Magnums in Coldfield and the Forest of Dean. Make sure to get in there before I clear them up. Yeah, we've got loads of cool t-shirts and then we've got the new adventure style t-shirts in there, stickers, shorts, padded jackets, loads of cool stuff in there. So check out the shop, the details are down below. Uh, also, Chris, have you seen the uh, muck-off um, face masks? I think they're I very, have. very cool. 
They, they are cool, aren't they? They do a really nice uh, pink version, so uh, get yourselves That's over to Muckoff to have a look at those. Nice. As always, we've got a great week of content coming up here on EMBN, a packed week coming up, and on Friday it kicks off with the 104 power stage, and it is the turn of the mighty Bosch motor heading up that hill. Yeah, some, uh, some lots of great comments from you guys uh, on the 104 hill climb stage. I mean, how does the Bosch uh, Generation 4 motor get on against the mm. uh, Specialized, which is the current leader on our stage? Uh, and then on Sunday, we're taking a look at some future technology of e-mountain bikes. So we're not talking the immediate future, you know, one to two years ahead, but we're looking long term, uh, 10, 20 years into the future. Well, folks, uh, what did you think of the Chris Acre get it? I thought it was absolutely mind-blowing. And so it seems did quite a lot of you guys. Uh, this is from Adam Carthy, who says, what the hell? Well, yes, what the hell indeed. Uh, but a ton of comments. Uh, Shifty Muckers is Chris Acre is just amazing. Uh, Kevin Bike, amazing ride. Chris is a machine. Well, he totally is a machine on a machine. Uh, and then another one from Igor Bujanovic, who says, if I didn't see it's written on an EMTB, I would think impossible to ride that terrain on any bike at all. Yeah, it was absolutely mind blowing, wasn't it, Chris? Well, it was amazing stuff coming from Chris. As always, he is an absolute machine on a bike and yeah, super excited to see what he can do in the future. Um, we've also got a few more comments coming in from why do you need the right tires for your e-mountain bike? We've got a comment in here from Shaw Stick saying, inflate your, tires, uh, inflate your tires higher so you can get a longer ride in. That goes against all the research showing lower tire pressure to a point gives less rolling resistance on anything but a perfectly smooth surface. Yeah, I think that's an interesting comment, isn't it, really? Mm. Uh, obviously, you, you could argue that actually a, a thinner tire would cut into the dirt even better than a, you know, a 2.8 mm -hmm. tire. But what's quite, what's quite yeah. funny, what we've seen in the past is that uh, even a large volume 2.8 or 3 inch tire with a bad tread pattern can sometimes be off, off a better grip than say a 2.3 with a super mm. aggressive tread pattern. I know it doesn't make sense, but in muddy, t uh, muddy conditions, that certainly is the truth sometimes. Yeah, I think tire pressure is a massive can of worms, isn't it? You know, I think it's really important to try and dial that pressure into what suits you out on your bike and the conditions you're riding in. Um, we've got a few more comments here from how much better a modern e-bike. So this was a retro uh, versus modern Bosch uh, motor that Steve did. <laughs> i uh, got one here from Billy saying, poor Denise, he's wrecked her bike. <laughs> Are you going pretty wild on that bike, Steve? Pushing it in the I corners? I did, uh, yes, I did actually break Denise's bike. I snapped the derailleur oh. off, uh, but I was fortunate to manage to get a derailleur hanger for a bike which was 10 years <laughs> old. Uh, but I was, I was actually blown away by, you know, the performance of, of a motor, you know, 10 years hence. So, um, yeah, I saw you were flying on that thing. Going pretty fast, that's for sure, yeah. <laughs> um, one last comment from Richard Kaz saying, there is a glaring problem with the comparison of the two bikes in the time trial test. The older bike was not perfect fit for the rider as opposed to the new bike that was a correct setup. This could account for the reasonable amount of time difference between the two. Yeah, but fair. So there was some big but differences. Yeah, fair play. Uh, you know, I, I think it was, it was quite, we were surprised at how small the margin was actually. Uh, but nevertheless, yeah. it, was, it, it was a crude comparison, but I think an, an, an interesting <laughs> one nonetheless. Wow, you've got to love a good local bike shop. You can come in, check the bikes out, touch them, get the sizing right. Uh, have a look at some clothing, some helmets, some uh, shorts. That's nice, isn't it? I do like that. That trolley there, the downhill action. Um, Get some trousers, I mean, try some trousers on for size. Now, coming up on the channel in the next few weeks, we've actually got a video on how to get the right size uh, e-mountain bike. And let's face it, how many times have you or I uh, ordered a pair of jeans online only for them to be the wrong size? So the great thing of a local bike shop, you can come in, try them all on. So moving around here, got some uh, protection. Uh, we've got Martin in the workshop and Tasha with Alfie the dog. Can I zoom in on those guys there? I, I don't know what's going on with the dog. So, uh, Martin here, all the park tools in the background. Uh, moving across, um, we've got Owen from West Wales on the coffee, shop manager no less. Uh, and finally, Henry, who's doing his homework.
Right, it's time for one of my favourite parts of the show where we go out and about taking a look all over the world to see where you guys have been riding on your e-bike. What we got, Steve? Well, we're actually starting off uh, with Danielle in the Valle du Muggio. Um, now, Whoa. I was thinking, where on earth is this? Because the first shots look like they're in the valley in Machantles, but uh, yeah. then you move on to the second shot, and then the third shot, and all becomes clearer. Uh, then moving on uh, slightly right. further north, and this is from uh, Stigbjorn uh, in the Leesford, Leesford in Norway. Now this is Pulpit Rock, and if you look in the distance, that is actually where Tom Cruise uh, filmed his last film. Uh, what nice. an amazing location there with that Focus bike. Uh, now moving on to where are we going? We're heading, for, heading west to Bob uh, and his mullet decoy uh, with a few modifications. Yeah, I'll say Bob, that looks uh, very uh, upgraded. Now Bob's in Sycamore Canyon out in Malibu, California. Uh, oh, I'm jealous, but look at it, amazing. So next is Kenneth. Now Kenneth's on his Old Bay Wild FS in uh, Golden Bay in Malta. Chris, I'm loving some of these uh, sunshine shots here in the Where in the World. It's making me a bit jealous, but nevertheless, up here in the Northern Hemisphere, we are edging our way to December the 21st um, solstice, uh, or is it equinox? Solstice, isn't it? Which means that the nights are gonna be getting longer. Uh, and two final ones. Now, this is from Nigel on his Vitus e-summit in the Isle of Wight. Now, Nigel is 62. Nigel, you're looking a million dollars there uh, in your EMBN hat and T-shirt. Those are cool T-shirts, those black ones, aren't they? And Nigel has been trying to get 60 miles and 6,000 feet of climbing each week. Uh, take my hat off to you, uh, Nigel, take my hat off. Uh, and finally, guys, uh, this is uh, from Melinda and a brace of Norcos in Hunter Valley, New South Wales. Again, some inspirational stuff there from you folks, mm -hmm. all parts of the globe. Uh, keep them coming in. I lo love some of the video content that was sent in this week, uh, which, uh, you know, gives it another dimension again. Right, it's bike vault time where we get to see if you're gonna take a nice or a super nice and who's gonna take that bike of the week. And kicking things off, we've got Danny here with 2019 Specialized Kinevo. He's out in Port Douglas in Cairns, Australia. It says, riding my Kinevo through rainforest, 80K north of Cairns. Nice shot that, Steve, what do you think? Yeah, nice color bike, right? Uh, but mm -hmm. maybe a bit over-processed on the shot, possibly. Yeah, what are you thinking there, nice? I think it's a nice, right? Nice. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Richard here with his white E160. He's out on North Yorkshire Moors. Want to watch how you don't bump into Chris Hackrig out there. Uh, first ride out on the North Yorkshire Moors with Chris Bell, who takes a good photo, by the way. Um, and yes, that is definitely a good photo. It's his first e-bike. He's upgraded from a Caliber Triple B, and he's absolutely loving it. Are you absolutely loving that shot, yeah, Steve? Yeah, for sure. That's, I mean, that's, <laughs> uh, you know, that's a masterclass in how to get a, a great bike shot. I mean, you can get Alfie the dog in there. Alfie, come here, come here. Oh, no, Alfie's not interested. Uh, but yes, uh, as you say, Chris, uh, that is a masterclass in uh, bike vault shots, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely got to be super nice for that shot. Next up, we've got David here with his Surface 604 Shred. So this is a hardtail. He's shredding it out in Bellevue, Washington, USA. Loads of trails within one mile of my home, some good hill climbs and some good downhills. Uh, it says the lighting is terrible this time of year because the sun is so low. I'm liking that sh shot, it looks like a, a nice place to ride. The bike's pretty cool as well, got a suspension seat post on there. Um, funky mud guards, got loads of spaces under the stem, so it looks like a comfy bike to uh, put some miles in, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, Washington State, what a great place <laughs> to ride mountain bikes. And like you yeah. said, you know, the nights will be getting longer pretty soon. Chris, definitely, that's yeah. nice, that's nice, right? Nice, yeah, definitely. Next up, we've got John here with his KTM Prowler Sonic. Um, he's absolutely loving a day out in Dalby Forest with a cracking day out with his wife. Uh, and he's actually given her a bit of a training day out in the woods on her mountain bike. So that's a nice shot. I like the look of those KTMs. I think we're gonna see some good stuff coming out of them because they've collabed with Gas Gas as well. So, you know, loads of cool stuff coming from them. Yeah. Nice bike, that. Yeah, for sure. And if you want to see some more KTM action, have a look at uh, Jose Borges' is, uh, um, KTM and Emmanuel Pombo's, which we did on the channel recently. Definitely. I think I was uh, going to give that one a super nice as well, I think. But what bike is going to take bike of the week, Steve? What do you think? We've had some good entries this week. 
Surely there's only one way, right? I mean, that shot of that white mm -hmm. on the North Yorkshire Moors. Definitely, yeah. I think Richard's going to take it this week. Amazing shot. Bite looks perfect. And the backdrop again, bang on. So, yeah, couldn't be better. So that's it from this week's EMBN mm -hmm. show from Ace Bicycles in Monmouth. Thanks for joining us. Let's know your thoughts yep. on the new Marin full suspension mm -hmm. bike. Uh, and we'll catch you next week, Chris. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN and give us a find and a follow on social media. And I shall see you next week. Cheers. Bye, bye. -bye.